The Kratos XQ58 Valkyrie, is a planned stealthy unmanned combat air vehicle, that is to be deployed by the United States Air Force. It was initially designated XQ-222. Its role is to escort the F-22 or F-35 during combat missions, and to be able to deploy weapons or surveillance systems. It must also be able to be deployed as part of a swarm of drones, with or without a control device. FAXX is a development and acquisition program for a future sixth-generation air superiority fighter for United States Navy. It is slated to replace the FA-18EF and EA-18G Growler electronic attack aircraft. It could be a manned, unmanned, or optionally manned aircraft. The fighter would carry a new spectrum of weapons to overwhelm or suppress enemy air defenses. The aircraft is intended to serve multiple missions, in an anti-axis and area denial environment. The Aerial Reconfigurable Embedded System Ares, is a concept for an unmanned VTOL flight module, that can transport various payloads. Ares' primary function is to use flight to avoid ground-based transportation threats, like ambushes and IEDs. It is to be powered by twin tilting ducted fans, and have its own power system, fuel, digital flight controls, and remote command and control interfaces. The flight module will have different detachable mission modules, for specific purposes including cargo delivery, COSEVIC, and ISR. The B-21 Raider, is a next-generation, American heavy bomber under development by Northrop Grumman. As part of the Long Range Strike Bomber Program, it is to be very long-range, stealth strategic bomber for the United States Air Force, capable of delivering conventional and thermonuclear weapons. It will have the capability, to elude the most advanced existing air defenses, and attack anywhere in the world. The bomber is expected to enter service by 2025. The Bell V-280 Valor, is a tilt-rotor aircraft, being developed by Bell and Lockheed Martin, for the United States Army's future vertical lift program. It provides warfighters strategic options, operational reach, tactical agility and overmatch at the point of decision. Design features integrated cabin armor, fly-by-wire component redundancy, state-of-the-art countermeasures and performance. The Columbia-class submarine, SSBNX, is an upcoming class of U.S. Navy's next-generation, nuclear submarines. The first submarine is scheduled to begin construction in 2021, and enter service in 2031. Designed to be 560 feet long and house 16 Trident 2D5 missiles. The Columbia will include new technologies not found on previous boats. Traditional submarines use steam turbines, but the next generation will have a stealthier, all-electric propulsion system. FX is a future high-tech, sixth-generation fighter jet, for the United States Air Force. It's unclear what capabilities a sixth-generation fighter would have, but some have speculated, it could have longer range, larger payloads, and an ability to switch between a manned and an unmanned aircraft. It might also be able to travel at hypersonic speeds and may carry laser and hypersonic weapons. Defense News reports that the Air Force hasn't selected a developer for the FX, but hopes to put it into service around 2030. The High Energy Liquid Laser Area Defense System Helids, is a counter-ram system under development, that will use a powerful 150 kilowatts laser to shoot down rockets, missiles, artillery shells and mortars. The weapon system can also be mounted on armored combat vehicles, surveillance aircraft and patrol ships. Precise targeting by lasers is expected to reduce collateral damages. Development is being funded by DARPA. 
Nocturne is an unmanned aerial system, a joint program between DARPA and the U.S. Navy's Office of Naval Research. Its unique combination of speed, long endurance, range, and altitude would give the Navy and Marine a cost-effective, transformational capability to conduct ISR, light strike, and other missions from the sea, at ranges exceeding 600 nautical miles. It will be able to carry as much as 600 pounds of ordnance. The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is a planned aerial refueling drone that resulted from the carrier-based aerial refueling system program. It will be a tanker with some ability to conduct intelligence gathering missions that will extend the range of the carrier's aircraft, allowing them to fly and fight at greater distances than before. The aircraft is to be able to pass 14,000 pounds of fuel to a receiver aircraft at a distance of 500 miles from the carrier and still be able to return to the ship. SB-1 Defined is a modern, fully integrated vertical lift aircraft, being developed by Boeing and Sikorsky, for the United States Army's future vertical lift program. It is designed to fly at twice the speed and range of conventional helicopters, while providing advanced agility and maneuverability. The next generation aircraft will meet the future demands of the military, offering an optimal combination of speed, lift and range, with better agility and greater maneuverability. It will be built with 85% commonality between attack and assault aircraft. Sea Hunter is an autonomous unmanned surface vehicle, as a part of the DARPA, Anti-Submarine Warfare Continuous Trail and Manned Vessel, ACTV program. It could ultimately lead to a whole new class of ocean-going vessel, and eradicate the need for larger manned warships, transforming conventional submarine warfare. It is capable of spending months at sea without a crew. It's not weaponized and can reach speeds of up to 27 knots. Although there's no specific timetable for when the Sea Hunter would join active naval operations, The Sikorsky S-97 Raider is a next-generation, high-speed scout and attack compound helicopter, based on the advancing blade concept, under development by Sikorsky Aircraft. It is capable of carrying six troops and external weapons, that will redefine helicopter flight during the 21st century. The helicopter is suitable for assault and armed reconnaissance missions. It can fly at speeds of more than 220 knots at 10,000 feet altitude. The Lockheed Martin SR-72 is an American hypersonic UAV concept intended for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. Lockheed Martin privately proposed it to succeed the retired Lockheed SR-71. It will be capable to reach speed of Mach 6. At hypersonic speeds, the SR-72 will be able to traverse any continent in around an hour. It is speculated that SR-72 might be unmanned in ability to carry weapons. The electromagnetic railgun is a long-range, high-energy gun launch system that uses electronic pulses to launch projectiles at targets more than 200 nautical miles away. It is typically constructed as a weapon, and the projectile normally does not contain explosives, instead relying on the projectile's high speed to inflict damage. It is still very much at the research stage. The Navy plans for railguns to be able to intercept endo-atmospheric ballistic missiles, stealthy air threats, supersonic missiles, and swarming surface threats. Hypersonic weapons are the new frontier in warfare. Hypersonics are useful, because their extremely high speed, shortens the defender's reaction time, and their speed and flight profile make it difficult, for conventional air and missile defenses to intercept. That gives the enemy very little time to detect, track, and shoot the weapon down. 
list of current hypersonic project are AGM-183A, or ARRW, Hypersonic Conventional Strike Weapon Hacksaw, Tactical Boost Glide TBG, X-51 Wave Reader, Hypersonic Air Breathing Weapon Concept HAWC, and High Speed Strike Weapon. High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstrator HAL-MD is a Boeing-designed laser system mounted on a heavy expanded mobility tactical truck. Its current power level is 10 kW, which will be boosted to 50 kW, and expected to eventually be upgraded to 100 kW. Targets that can be engaged are mortar rounds, artillery shells and rockets, unmanned aerial vehicles, and cruise missiles. Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent is a U.S. land-based intercontinental ballistic missile system in the early stages of development, slated to replace all 450-minute manned third missiles. It represents the modernization of the ground-based leg of the nuclear triad. Boeing and Northrop Grumman are competing for the contract. On August 21, 2017, the U.S. Air Force awarded three-year development contracts to Boeing and Northrop Grumman, for $349 million and $329 million, respectively. One of these companies will be selected to produce this ground-based nuclear ICBM in 2020. The GBSD program is expected to enter service in 2027. B-6112 is the latest variant of the B-61 family of nuclear gravity bombs. It has a maximum yield of just 50 kilotons, the equivalent of 50,000 tons of TNT. The B-6112 would fill a number of functions, including earth-penetrating attacks, low-yield and high-yield attacks, above-surface detonation, and bunker-buster options with one weapon. It is scheduled to be finished in 2020, with a full production run completed by 2025. The Boeing Saab TX is an American-Swedish advanced pilot training aircraft developed by Boeing in partnership with Saab Group. It is expected to provide student pilots with the skills and competencies required to transition to fourth and fifth generation fighter and bomber aircraft. TX will replace the Air Force's aging T-38 aircraft. Initial operating capability is planned for 2024. The Hybrid Insect Microelectromechanical Systems Program, also known as the Cyborg Program, is a project of DARPA to encourage the development of cyborg insects that can be controlled by humans. It could be used for advanced reconnaissance. F-15X is a thoroughly modern update of the F-15 Eagle, with the singular purpose of hunting down and engaging enemy aircraft. It could carry more ordnance and heavier payloads like hypersonic weapons. Improvements includes the AMR weapons rack to carry up to 22 air-to-air -air missiles, infrared search and track, advanced avionics and electronics warfare equipment, AESA radar, and revised structure with a service life of 20,000 hours. The Ribbon Gun or L5-L4 rifle is a futuristic multi-bore, single-barrel gun with electronic firing system, using innovative caseless ammo, produced by forward defense munitions. It uses electromagnetic actuators to fire its bullets, and has a rate of fire over a mind-boggling 250 rounds per second. It can send its bullets streaking to their targets, at over 2500 miles per hour. It also has a power shot mode, which fires all five rounds in a block at once in a tight grouping. The U.S. Army reportedly ordered some prototypes of the L5 per liters for rifle, for testing. The Sikorsky Lockheed Martin VH-92A is an American helicopter, under development to replace the Marine One U.S. Presidential Transport Fleet. They are equipped with ballistic armor, secure communication lines to the White House and Pentagon, and anti-missile defenses. It will enter into service in 2020.
M1A2D is the next generation modern Abrams tanks with advanced sensors currently under development. It will be equipped with advanced sensors and combat systems. It will use third generation FLIR, which will provide tank crews much greater lethality. General Dynamics Land Systems was awarded a $310.6 million contract modification in August 2017, for the development of seven prototype M1A2D tanks and testing. Next Generation Combat Vehicle, is the future modern combat vehicle of U.S. Army. It will be able to carry a squad of infantry, launch attack drones, carry next-generation missiles, fire a 50mm cannon, and operate optionally manned technology. Currently three companies are competing for it. BAE Systems is showing off the CV-90 Mark IV fighting vehicle, General Dynamics, Griffin III combat vehicle, and Raytheon and Rhine Metal, Lynx K-41 infantry fighting vehicle. The Army wants to start testing prototypes in 2019. The Army plans to have a combat-ready operational vehicle by 2026.